Hello everyone, I'm Mimi, and welcome to this week's Instamina, Social Graces. Tonight, we'll discuss how to handle a severe case of halitosis. Ew. So I was like, no way, you gotta be kidding me. You went to college with my friend Alex from high school, and they were fraternity brothers. Ugh, that's just madness. Madness, I tell you. Ugh, okay, that's it. I can't take it anymore. Your breath smells like freaking dog shit death. I gotta get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Hillary, you should be ashamed of yourself. That's not a very graceful way to handle dog shit death halitosis. And you embarrass him in front of two other girls. Now don't you think there's a kinder, more social graces way to save yourself and everyone else from the toxic aroma? That's just madness. Madness, I tell you. <laughs> Mint? Oh, no thanks, I hate those things. Gum, perhaps? Oh, yes, she did. Let's see how this plays out. Are you saying my breath stinks? I'm not saying a word, I'm just offering you some gum. Okay, I'll have a piece, but you're telling me that my breath smells, right? I just like gum and mints and things like that and want to share. Oh, can I have one of those? Sure. Oh, me too? Thank you. <laughs> oh, look at Hillary with the social graces. I couldn't have done it better myself. But before you think you know what I'm going to say next, hold your socks up, you social graces experts in training, because I'm not done. I'm not here just to teach you how to be a Hillary, but also how not to be a Paul. People, are you fucking kidding me with the bad breath? Can you not even smell it yourself? Have you eaten recently? Was it a burrito? May I guess by your burp aroma? Did you fucking brush your teeth before you left? Or better yet, brush your tongue? How about a tongue scraper? Ever heard of those? Or oil pulling? Look it up on Google. Are you drinking enough water? How about a green smoothie in your diet? Or a salad or some fruit every once in a while because what's brewing down there in your neglected gastrointestinal health is disturbing the peace. He went to college with my friend Alex from high school and they were fraternity brothers. That's madness. What's that you've got there? Oh, yeah, just a green smoothie I picked up from the juice bar on my way over here. Oh, yeah? Well, put that thing down and kiss me already. Paul wins, Hillary wins, everybody wins. Keep it fresh and clean and green so as not to disrupt the social scene. See you all next week on Social Graces. <laughs>